What is going on, my people? It is UK. Trying to bro, reductively the darkest man around us today, guys. I'll be talking about my overall channel, talking about the content that I will be producing in the future, and also I will also be putting my overall thoughts on Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Striker, my final verdict. Me, I've kind of been open minded about it, but I'm gonna put my final verdict about that game based on the stuff we've got so far right now, and I'll also be putting my overall thoughts on Dragon Ball Fighters so far as well but if you guys want to hear the extra stuff if you guys want to hear what I have to say about my channel going forward if you guys want to hear my overall thoughts and opinions about Naruto the Boruto Shinobi Striker and Dragon Ball Fighters get that fried chicken and get that glorious ass Kool-Aid and sit them cheeks down because you know you definitely know this UK Trotter Brother will be going ham on this video so without further ado let me just get on with this hold up So where do I start? Like where do I start? I'm gonna start off with Naruto, Taboruto, Shinobi Striker and Dragon Ball Fighters. I'm gonna talk about them two games first and then I'm gonna dive in to what's gonna happen with my channel in terms of what I'm planning on doing because I got a lot of stuff planned because I wanna increase, not decrease. I want to go forward, I don't want to go backwards, I want to go up, not down, you guys get the gist of what I'm trying to say, I want to do stuff that can actually allow me to be more entertaining because I know a lot of people get stuck in the same corner, I know a lot of people get in that route of doing the same pattern over and over and over and over again, like a lot of people get caught in that same pattern and I don't want to be caught in that same pattern, so I'm going to be addressing a few things in this video, but first, let me talk about Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Striker. And then after Dragon Ball Fighters, and then the stuff I'm going to be adding, like I said. So, okay, Dragon Ball, okay, Dragon Ball. I mean, Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Strikers, my bad. Okay, so my overall thoughts with Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Strikers. Number one, i got to be honest, the game don't really look that good. It kind of looks like a hack and slash. It looks like it has some elements from Storm. And it looks like a hack and slash with Windows elements, which for some people is it, bad, it's bad, it's bad, it's looking bad, it's, it's not looking great. And I can see that, I can see that it's not looking great, but my standpoint, and this is this is my standpoint, like I look at things from a, maybe a different perspective, perspective based on other people, like me, I'm 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 a I'm an athlete bro, I'm an athlete, like I play football, I do sports, I've, I've been brought up in a way that I don't sleep on things. I don't sleep on anything unless I actually give it a try, unless I give it a go. And that's because like me growing up as a competitor in terms of playing legit sports like football, running, all that stuff, I don't sleep on any of my opponents. I don't sleep on nothing. So going into this, I'm not sleeping on it. I'm going into open-minded. I'm not necessarily hyped. I'm not necessarily like disappointed because I knew the game kind of looked like a hack and flash in the first trailer, so I'm in a mindset that I'm going into this open-minded, I'm going to play the demo, if I don't like the demo, I ain't getting the game. If I like the demo, I'll get the game, like, I'm going into that mindset for when it comes to that game. The game doesn't look great, we haven't really seen a lot, we haven't really seen raw gameplay, so it's hard to tell whether I'm going to like this game or not, but I'm still going to try out the demo. No matter all of the stuff that we get, I'm still going to try out the demo, because that is the final verdict because if I don't like the demo I'm not gonna like the game but me just looking at it, I can't say that I dislike it based on looking at it. like me I thought I wasn't gonna like Minecraft I ended up liking Minecraft like I've gone into matches where I feel like the team ain't gonna be shit or the team ain't gonna perform well and the team ends up performing well like I played against a team that lost every single game like the whole season but when it came to our team, who was top of the league, we got we, we lost against that team. We lost against that team that lost every single game. Like, they had a min minus of freaking 100 goal difference. Like, they lost game after game after game. But our team went into it. We slept on the team. Me, I did put in the work. I, I always put in the work when it comes to sports. Like, no matter who it is, I always put in the work. I always train hard. I always train to the maximum, no matter who the opponent is, I don't go easy on no one when it comes to football, bruh. I'm, I'm from a family that plays that sport, like my dad did, like my uncles did, like I'm from a family that plays that sport, so I don't sleep on anyone, but the overall team did sleep on it, like the overall team slept on that team. We expected to go through scoring hat-tricks, 
destroying the team, but it wasn't like that. Like that's how it is. That's how it is for me. So going into this game, I don't sleep on. I don't. I'm not gonna sleep on it. I'm not gonna count it out. I'm gonna play the demo. I'm gonna see whether I like it or whether I dislike it. Like I did with Battle of Z, and like I did with the other games that we played in the past. Like me, I don't think this game's gonna be that bad. No, do I think it's gonna be good? I think it's gonna be overshadowed, overshadowed by Dragon Ball Fighters, though. Like, I cannot sit here and tell you that this game will not be overshadowed by Dragon Ball Fighters. So, my overall standpoint on this game is looking 50-50. It's looking really 50-50 at this point. And yeah, like, that is my standpoint on Naruto to Boruto, Shinobi Striker. The game's looking okay. It's not really looking amazing. To me, it's not really looking bad also. I'm open-minded. I do see why people dislike it. I do see why people are not really hyped for the game. I do see that a lot, but I've grown up in a background where or come from an area where i do not sleep on things because i know what happens when you sleep on things i'm aware of what could happen when you sleep on things this is just me and my mindset i will still give the game a chance i will still play the game i don't know why people are stressing out i don't know why people are bagging on the game play the game first then you can bag on it then you can say the issues then you can say the problems you have with the game at the moment all the problems you're having is visually which we pretty much seen in the first trailer so i don't get it like we've seen the the visuals of what the game looks like in the first trailer it's nothing really too different more or so that we're getting raw gameplay in this one rather than we did in the first one but as a whole it's not really much of a difference when you look at it as a whole but me personally i'm going into it open-minded not necessarily hyped not necessarily excited just open-minded i'm gonna play the i'm gonna play the demo or the open beta and then judge it from there whether I like the game or not. Like I did with Battle of Z. I didn't like Battle of Z, so I didn't buy Battle of Z. That's, that's my standpoint. That's how it is. People didn't like Battle of Z in the demo, but they thought they were going to like the full game. And those people were stupid. No offense to people like that. And people, some people may have liked Battle of Z, but the people that didn't and played the demo, then you're a fool. Like, you're, you're a complete fool. I'm sorry, you're a fool. You're, you're a dumbass. You're like, you're a freaking idiot. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not sugarcoating anything today. I'm being honest with you guys in terms of that standpoint. So, when it comes to my overall thoughts on Dragon Ball Fighters as a whole, the game's looking good. It's the best looking Dragon Ball game that I've seen. Like, by far, it's the best looking Dragon Ball game that I've seen. Are people overhyping it? It's 50-50. It's 50-50. Because me, from, from my standpoint, like, it is getting a lot of praise. But, I'm not the type of person... I'll praise it to a certain extent if I really like it the way the game looks. But I'm not the type of person to praise it and then call it the greatest thing ever. Call it the best thing I've ever seen. The greatest Dragon Ball game of all time. Because I need to play it to know if it's the greatest Dragon Ball game of all time. I'm not basing on visual. I need to play the game. I'm not going to just say it is the greatest Dragon Ball game of all time. I'm not, I'm not that type of guy. I'm not that type of person at all to say all these stuff when I haven't played the game. Me, even though the game may be good, even though the game may be not as good as what people are making out to be, it doesn't mean I'm going to like the game personally. Like, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't mean I'm going to like the game personally. Me, I'm hyped for this game somewhat. More so, it kind of died down, maybe because we have, we're getting less news. But as the game comes closer and closer to release, I'm going to be more eager to play, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be more eager, more keen, and more excited to play as the game comes out. Same maybe with shinobi strikers but with dragon ball fighters just because it's graphically better the hype is more there because everybody likes seeing things that look good why do you think the naruto community got hyped for a storm for the past freaking nine years nine to ten years why do you think they got hyped because it looked good and that is the same with dragon ball fighters it looks good and people are more confident with the people that are developing the game so with all that stuff there you can see why people are hyped you can see why people are excited for them two games as far as me, okay, did I say them two games? I mean hype for Dragon Ball Fighters. Not, not many people are hyped for Shinobi Strikers. But when it comes to me and what I'm going to do with both of these games, I'm going to cover the news like I said I will. I'll cover the news for both of the games, but I'm not heavily going to commit myself to both of these games in terms of doing it on YouTube. I'm going to see how things are. I'm going to see whether I like the game. I'm going to see whether I have the willpower to get good at the game because I'm not going to say... Yo, I'm going to try so hard, get good at the game. I don't even know I'm going to like the game yet. I don't even know if I'm going to like the game. I'm confident that I will, but I don't know that I'm going to like it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if I'm going to like it. Like, So I'm going into that aspect, open-minded, 
all that stuff in terms of me covering it i'm gonna see how it goes see how i feel about the beta take it one step at a time because i'm not submitting myself to doing anything of, of like when it comes to them too i'm not submitting myself to a game i could potentially not like and if i like it then i like it then i'll put the effort and i'll put the time to getting good at the game but first i need to play the game see other people play the game and then form my overall thoughts and opinions whether i want to do this on my channel whether this game has a future on my channel whether i can actually see myself going places with this game because i want progression i don't want um to go backwards you know what i'm saying i want progression i want progression i want to go forward not back i want to go up not down you know what i'm saying i want progression i want to do well i want to have fun with what i'm doing you know what i'm saying so that brings me to what can you expect from the channel if things go according to plan with the way i'm trying to plan things i'm trying to get a, probably a new face cam so i can do more of a relaxation type of um type of uh what's the word more relaxing blick story yeah i want to do a more relaxed blick story so me sitting there telling you guys about my stories i got a lot of stories a lot of people be telling me on discord that i should make these stories in the videos but i want a more relaxing setting so i'm going to see if i can get a webcam for that i'm going to see if i can get another camera for um uh for public videos and a new mic for public videos as well so i can do some public videos that i have planned um i got a skit coming out soon but i need the guy the one man to do me a favor so if you're watching this video bruh i need you to do me that favor so i can actually make this next skit happen which should happen really soon really soon like i'm not gonna say what it is it should happen really soon i've been saying that i would do it for a long time but I know some of you guys have been waiting for it to happen. I know some of you guys are tired of me saying I'm going to do it. So whoever the person is, they know who they are. I need you to help me with a certain a certain thing that you know I'm talking about. <laughs> but as a whole, when it comes down to the channel, you're going to expect a lot of diverse content, skits, videos that you've never seen before done by um by an anime channel i don't want to really classify myself i don't want to really classify myself as an anime channel okay you're not going to see videos that are done in the way they're going to be done when they come out I, that sounded so shit <laughs> you are not going to see videos like this anywhere else that's what i'm going to say like some stuff i've seen happen that are close to it which is similar to rdc world but I'm taking it towards a public route and also a skit route as well. So it's going to be kind of different to what RDC will do. You guys know how I do my skits. And you guys know how I could potentially be planning my public videos. But you don't know what the public videos are going to be about yet. I got them stuff planned. I haven't forgotten. I'm trying to work on some things. Trying to implement a job in, in the whole time frame. So I can actually get the budget up. So I can get all the stuff out there. I've just broken up from... I've just finished college. So... I'm, I'm looking forward to the more free time I'll have and trying to figure out where I want to go, what I want to do with my life. You guys know how it is. So, like, I'm taking things one step at a time. Just, just let you guys know one step at a time. Just, just to let you guys know that one step at a time. That's how things are going to be. And that's how things are going to be going forward. But as a whole, guys, I want to know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts and opinions about this down in the comments section below. Are you hyped to see the new skits? Are you hyped to potentially see Dragon Ball Fighters or Shinobi Strikers videos? I'm definitely covering the news, but in terms of playing the game on my channel, let's take this one step at a time, guys. The one step at a time. I'm not submitting myself to nothing like I did with Xenoverse 2. I said I'll cover Xenoverse 2 a lot in terms of playing the game, but I didn't really do that. I did a couple of videos and, and didn't do that. I'm not submitting myself. I'm not giving you guys any guarantees. So we're taking it one step at a time. We're seeing how things can plan out. And we're seeing how or if I like the game. When it comes to One Piece stuff, you guys know One Piece stuff will be there. I got I got a discussion coming out soon. I'm trying to pick up. I'm trying to think of the right YouTube. I'm not sure when it's gonna come out. It may, I may record it today if I get the right person or if the right person I'm thinking of is available. So yeah, like I said, leave a full set of opinions about all of that down in the comment section below. And yeah, this has been the UK Chocolate Brother Doctor with the Darkest Man around. And yeah, and yeah. <laughs> and yeah. Let me just wrap up this video. So, please comment and subscribe. I know I say this all the time, but at the end of the day, I'm just saying. Please like, really enjoy this video. And yeah, this is UK. Chocolate Brother will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.